Day. And I'm Richard Day. We're both chiropractors. We've been in practice together for 11 years. Married for 10. With three beautiful little girls. We know it's possible to have an exceptional practice that's built around your life. Because we've done it. So we've created this podcast. The Lifestyle Practice Builders Podcast. We'll interview chiropractors, answer questions, and bring you resources to help build and grow your practice. So let's get this party started. Welcome back to the Lifestyle Practice Builders Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Dr. Haley Day. And if you're getting tired of listening to me, then you'll be happy to know that Rich will be back with us on some future podcasts. So woohoo! Today, I'm going to dive deep into the one thing or superpower that will make you succeed in life and practice. But before I do, I'm going to give a brief update for you and an intro for anyone new to the podcast. I will be brief. So if we're old news to you, then stay with me and we'll get to today's topic. You don't want to miss our newest updates and announcements that will be part of this beginning part. If you're new to the podcast, Rich and I are chiropractors in private practice in Kansas City. We've also opened a practice in Colorado. We've bought and sold practices. We've had independent contractors, associates, employees, and now we do this thing as well. Formerly, this podcast was known as the Cairo Business Mojo Podcast when we started on the day our third daughter was born in 2016. So there's a whole history of episodes for you to listen to when you have time. So take a trip and download what you can. We started the podcast in order to help chiropractors by creating resources we wish we had when we were first starting. After launching the podcast, we co-authored the Cairo Planner, a 100-day practice launch toolkit for chiropractors and planner for chiropractors wanting to start their first practice. The Cairo Planner has helped hundreds of students, associates, and chiropractors get started and build their own practices. The Cairo Planner also comes with self-assessments and a strategy called with one of us. So you can learn more about the Cairo Planner at chiroplanner.com. After creating the Cairo Planner, we saw a need for more resources, worksheets, and templates needed to walk you through the process of opening your practice. So we created the Foundation. The Foundation is a membership resource library for Kairos starting their own practice. It has many more resources you'll need when starting and pairs remarkably with the Cairo Planner for maximum success. If you're interested in the foundation, then you can visit jointhefoundation.com. Then after helping hundreds of chiropractors through the start of their first practice and seeing what they needed most, we developed the ROF System Master Course, sharing the report of finding system we use in our office to have a near 100% treatment plan completion and building a referral practice with minimal external marketing by you, giving you the freedom to live your life, enjoy your family and hobbies, and build your own lifestyle practice. So if you are interested in that, then you should visit the ROF system.com. And now for the biggest announcement, I tried to rush through that for any of you that have already heard all of that spiel before. We are getting ready to launch resources for those of you wanting to become a chiropractic associate. So stay tuned through September to learn more and to save money because we are going to pre-sell this workshop for those of you wanting to find the ideal chiropractic associate position with a first-time discount. We usually do not discount our products, so this will be the one time when we launch things we usually do. So stay tuned to that. If you are looking at becoming a chiropractic associate within the next year, it might be something you'll be interested in. So you guys, everything we create is created for you. Each resource developed from the needs of chiropractic students and chiropractors we've helped in the past, hardworking, smart people that like us don't want to use outdated systems and sleazy sales tactics of the big practice management groups. You don't need to sign a several year contract, pay hundreds of dollars a month, or be babysat through these processes because that's what you're paying for. You need a guide, and that's where we come in. All of our resources are jam-packed with the information you need. No fluff, no babysitting, but we are here if you need 
um, and assistance. A lot of our products come with a Facebook group. You can ask questions and and find out what we think. We really mean it when we say your success is our goal. You can read one of the many testimonials on our website, iTunes, and Facebook pages. We're thankful for all of those that trusted us and building more for those of you still to come. We want to help move you away from the overwhelm of all the unknowns and into a life where you can pay your bills, enjoy the people around you, and live your life to the fullest. Visit lifestylepracticebuilders.com to read our blog, download one of the many free resources we have on there, and learn more about how you can succeed in chiropractic. So again, it's lifestylepracticebuilders.com. Chiropractic is an awesome career and there are plenty of us succeeding in practice. We want you guys to join us. So visit the website to learn more. And now for our regularly scheduled content. So today I'm talking about the one ingredient you all need to have in order to succeed in chiropractic and honestly, anything you set out to do. Without this one superpower, you will struggle to find success in business, relationships, and life. It's almost always the missing element when someone fails to succeed or the reason it will take some of you so long to reach success. It's the secret power of anyone staying and playing in anything. All of the chiropractors that are doing well during COVID, they are doing this. I promise you. Even after I talk about how important this one thing superpower is though today, many of you will discredit in your mind, be unable to stick to it and let life get in the way. So please take out a piece of paper or sticky note, especially if you are someone who has suffered from shiny object syndrome and you might change the channel after I tell you what this is, but hopefully you won't. So take out a piece of paper or your sticky note and write these words down or use the cell phone wallpaper I created on our Facebook page. I will put it there. Put the piece of paper somewhere you will see it or download our wallpaper to your phone. And are you ready? Write it down. It's be consistent. There are two definitions for consistency that we're going to look at and I'm going to talk about. Hopefully I don't lose you during this process because it's the definition, but Consistency is the conformity in the application of something, typically that which is necessary for the sake of logic, accuracy, or fairness. Conformity means similarity in form. So in practice, I would apply this in the systems of our practice. Do your days follow a structure? Do you have an opening routine, patient care routine, billing routine, marketing routine, closing routine, and so forth. You need to have systems that create routines in your practice. These routines will alleviate stress for you and your employees and make patients comfortable because they know what to expect when they come in for treatment or when they refer a friend or family member in. There aren't surprises or changes every time they come in, so they know what to expect. If you're a student, then you can practice being consistent by having a routine to your day and the way you approach school. Creating consistent habits in your life now will greatly affect your success in practice with this principle. So start now to get better before graduation. The other definition for consistency is the achievement of a level of performance that does not vary greatly in quality over time. So in all of the systems and routines you are creating, there needs to be quality and the level of quality will affect the level at which you succeed. So Once Rich and I had been in practice a while, we noticed that in order to keep the momentum in our practice, the people coming in, the profits coming in, to grow and increase income over the months and years, we needed to create a marketing plan, similar to the one that we have in the Cairo Planner, that kept us busy throughout the year. Once we had a plan in place, following the plan became more about our consistency to follow through with the plan than anything else. When we were consistent, we were busy. But when we got busy with other things and weren't as consistent, then that's when we plateaued. What are some things you're consistent with and what are some things you have a hard time being consistent with? This might cause you to reevaluate the importance of some of the tasks you complete. If you have a hard time being consistent with something, then is it important? Do you need a better routine? You need to figure that out. For example, I have a hard time devoting too much of my life to Twitter. Social media that I like is Instagram or Facebook and Twitter I've just never gotten into. So that's where you'll find me. And Twitter is not part of our social media strategy. And for some others, it may be their main strategy. But for me, I don't enjoy being on that platform. And so I don't use it. Um, 
here are some other places in our lives and practice that we try to be consistent. So with working out, I'm sure many of you do this too. We have a routine to getting regular exercise and also to see that our kids are getting regular exercise too. We eat healthy. This starts with buying healthy foods at the store and having them available for the family and not buying junk. And if there's no junk in the cabinets and there's no junk to eat. So, um, so working out, eating healthy, spending time with our kids, family and friends. We regularly schedule time to spend with them and marketing our practice, social media posting, networking in order to grow and have the energy there to be consistent. Um, Creating resources for chiropractors. That's another thing we do. Podcasts, blogs, social media. We're also putting a plan together that will allow us to be more consistent with this too. When we started the podcast, Rich was doing five episodes a week, which is great for listeners, but extremely hard for us to keep up with. So over time, we've done you know once a week, three times a week, but we're going to be more consistent. I think we're going to do two solid episodes a month going forward. And so we, but we are putting a whole plan together, a whole social media strategy to be consistent and do what we need to do. So some other things that we're consistent with are vacation, date nights. We typically take a date night once or th- once to three times a week. We read. We both are constantly have a book that we're reading, learning, seminars, continuing education. So all of those things that we like to be consistent with in our life. And the one key ingredient for being consistent with everything on our list is our passion for these things. So we are extremely devoted to the things on our list, our health, our relationship with each other, our kids, our relationship with friends and family, our practice, of course, helping chiropractors and and our own personal growth. So if you're finding it hard to keep something important enough to be consistent with it, then you probably aren't passionate enough about it. Maybe you don't understand how important it is to your success, or maybe it just isn't. When Rich and I started our first practice, neither of us wanted to do posture screenings to market our practice. So we didn't. We found other ways congruent to what we enjoyed doing, ways to market ourselves without having to do the screenings. And we still worked hard. We just work differently. When you are consistent with your efforts, then you can tell whether what you are doing is working or not. When we first opened our practice, we tried old school newspaper ads. It was something we thought might work in the area we were in. Um, and we stuck with the weekly ads for three months before we decided they weren't working. But what did work though, was having the newspaper write a full article about us and also having them post several press releases about events in our office. So the ads didn't work, but the relationship we developed with them paid off. When you have consistent processes, then it's easier to hold yourself or others accountable. So did all new patients this month get sent to thank you? Did insurance billing go out when it was supposed to? Were invoices sent? And the list goes on. So having a routine or system in place holds people accountable for the process. So being consistent helps you measure your efforts and hold yourself and others accountable. Consistency will also establish your reputation or the brand of your office. So will you be known for having great patient care? Will patients understand the treatment plan and finish their course of care? Business growth requires a track record of success. You can't establish a track record if you don't follow systems and instead you're constantly trying new things. So to recap, being consistent will help you measure that what you're doing is working working, hold you and others accountable, and create brand reputation in your community. Being consistent with social media will keep you relevant with your community. So when people visit your Facebook page or Instagram, they'll see you consistently putting informative posts about yourself, health, and the community. I'm like a broken record, but I'm going to say it again. Being consistent will help you measure your efforts, be accountable to the process, build brand reputation, and community relevance. Ultimately, all of this will help you stay in the game and create your space in your community, which is exactly what all all of us want. We want to be known in our community, have a place that people can trust and that they come to when they need help. So to be consistent, put repeatable processes or routines in place and think about how they can be better. Evolve them through time. If you're just starting out, then you may not have any of these systems. It will take time. If you feel totally lost, then seek out help. This is why we created the Cairo Planner, the Foundation, the ROF System Masterclass. Don't reinvent the wheel. No 
knowing now how to take these steps will save you so much time and heartache as you navigate through opening and building your practice. If you're further along in practice, you have the systems, but you aren't sticking to them, then figure out what's missing. Maybe it's time to bring on a CA or to hire an associate to share responsibility. If you have a CA and or associate, but feel these areas are still lacking, then you need to take time outside of your practice hours or outside of the practice, put your CEO hat on and document the routines, train the staff and implement ways to measure the consistency and hold everyone accountable. Ultimately, the success or failure of your practice to comply with consistent efforts is on you. So take some time today or mark off some time this week on your calendar to think about what consistency looks like for you in school or practice. Document some of the expectations, routines, and practices you need to succeed, and how can you measure them? Then hold yourself accountable. If you want a reminder, visit our Facebook page and download the cell phone wallpaper we created or set an alarm on your phone each day to check in with how these routines and processes are coming on. You can also visit the podcast episode at our website, lifestylepracticebuilders.com slash blog slash 143 to download the wallpaper. To learn more about chiropractic office systems, you can also visit another blog post that we have. It's at lifestylepracticebuilders.com slash chiropractic dash systems. So I want to thank you for sharing your time with me today. If you found the episode valuable, then please share it with others in your Instagram stories or on Facebook, wherever you connect with other chiropractors that might need some help as well. Also leave us a review. It means the world to us to know you're getting something out of the time and effort we're putting in to produce each episode. So go out today, be consistent. Take care guys. If you enjoyed this podcast episode, please share it with your friends on Instagram and Facebook. And for those of you who are already subscribers, we really appreciate it. Thanks for the reviews. We love reading those and knowing that you're loving the podcast. If you're looking for more tips and inspiration, be sure to check us out at lifestylepracticebuilders.com or join our business and marketing Facebook group for chiropractors at facebook.com slash group slash lifestyle practice.